Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, who is one of the hottest young stars in the game, who just took his first loss to Javante Tank Davis. Then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the undefeated WBC, IBF, and the Super WBA Unified World Champion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, big news has broken. Well, Ryan Garcia, you know, he has just, you know, switched trainers, and he signed with Derrick James, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now, Ryan Garcia went over to Derrick James. Um, he liked the way Derrick James worked. He liked Derrick James' staple. You know, you got Earl the True Smith Jr., you got Jamil Trollo, and you got Anthony Joshua, you got Frank Mart, and now you got Ryan Garcia. And guess what? Earl Spence welcomed Ryan Garcia with open arms. You feel me? EJ, welcome Ryan Garcia with open arms. You know, one thing about Earl Spence, man, he is a, he's a, he's a, uh, a, a upfront guy. You know, he's an upfront guy. He's a trill dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, Earl like Ryan. Of course, he picked Tank to beat Ryan, right? But he do like Ryan. We know he made a bet with Ryan Garcia. Ryan paid up. And if you're coming over to the camp, man, you know, he going to wish you nothing but the best. You feel me? Just like when Anthony Joshua won, he said, you know, good fight to build off of. You know, keep it pushing. Giving, you know, um, Anthony Joshua pointers and tips. Now, when it comes to this dude, Ryan Garcia, I'm quite sure Earl Spence going to give him pointers and tips. Once you're part of the team, you're part of the team. You feel me? Once you're part of the team, you're part of the team. Now, Ryan Garcia, we all know um, the stigma that's, that kind of stick to him where people feel like, oh, he's not a working a hard worker, he don't come into the gym and work his ass off. He want to work only on his time. Um, you know, he don't do this, he don't do that. We seen um, Ed Reynoso said, we seen Canelo said. Now we heard Joe Goulson say, "You don't train Ryan, you train with Ryan." For us, like try, I mean, for, sorry, for us, like Ryan running the show. Ryan can't run no show with Derrick James. That don't work. And I think that's why Ryan went over there because he understand I need somebody that's very disciplined that's gonna keep my ass in check and that's gonna let me know that you you don't run the show. And now he's going over there with two bigger stars and Earl Spence and fucking um, Anthony Joshua, right? And he got to play ball. You know what I'm saying? You got to play ball. Because one thing Earl Spence don't accept is, is a lazy motherfucker that don't want to work hard and that's coming in there thinking they know everything and shit like that. You ain't going to get away with it, especially with Frank Martin being over there. I repeat, especially with Frank Martin being over there, because that can be some good-ass dog work right there, and that can be a big fight in the future still. You understand what I'm saying? But we know Frank Martin at 135, Ryan Garcia going to 140, and at the moment, ain't no beef right there. Ain't no beef right there. You understand what I'm saying? So it can work, bro. It most definitely can work, fam. But like I say, Earl Spence, he do not, you know, uh, show favoritism at times, even though he rock with who he rock with. But like I say, with Ryan Garcia coming over, man, he'll show that young kid some love. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about in this fight game, man. Um, one hand helps wash the other. You ain't causing me no problem. You ain't taking no food off my plate or nothing like that. And when it's time for me to train, I'm going to train. When it's time for you to train, you go train. So we go wish you all the best and things of that nature. Now, we know Ryan need, you know, fighters to uplift him. You know what I'm saying? We all thought he was going to sign with Ronnie Shields with Jamal Cholo. You understand? And we all know Jamal Trello was making him feel good in in the in the in the when he was training. I mean, sorry, when he was warming up for tank, he said, Man, Trello got me amped. You know what I'm saying? He got him amped up and shit like that. So we know he need a feel good type of environment. So, you know, you go get you go get that over at Derrick James camp, but you gotta work, man. You gotta work. And Derrick James is a hell of a trainer. Hell of a trainer. And the main thing Derrick James teaches is range and distance, bro. Range and distance, having your feet in the right places. Going to the body, you know, being smart, being very smart. And with Ryan Garcia going to Derrick James, bro, that is a hell of a combination. That's a hell of a combination. You know what I mean? And a lot of people ain't going to like that move, but oh, well, fam. Oh, well, this is the fight game, bro. You get what you put in it. If you want to be the best, you got to go train with the best. You got to work like you the best and got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do because ain't nothing going to be given in this sport of boxing. You feel me? This ain't basketball, football, baseball. We got a team to, to, to fall back on. No, 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 no. It's all about what you put into it. About what you put into it, bro. And you got to be ready and willing 
and able to do what Derek James tell you to do because if not, Derek is not going to put up with you. He is not. He's a he's a a, a non nonsense type of guy, bro. And Derek James, he's cool, calm, and collective. But when it's time to work, it's time to work, bro. That's his personality. That's his regiment. And because he put the work in as well. Derek ain't over there just talking. Derek ain't over there just training. He's actually doing. He get up every morning, run, jog. He 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 spar in the gym, right? He do things with them. So he's gonna expect nothing but the best from you. Nothing but the best from you. And he's good for the mental. You know what I'm saying? Derek know how to take you away from all the bullshit. Take you away from the social media. What people saying. What people think. Man, listen. This circle is the circle, bro. This is all you need to focus on. Everything else don't count. Everything else don't count. It don't matter, bro. You in here putting in the hard work. You in the ring fighting. You throwing the punches. You taking the punches. All the outside noise don't mean nothing. Nothing. Who cares about what another human think of you who can't do 25% of the shit you do? You understand? Who gives a damn? Because they can't take a punch. They don't know how to throw a proper punch. And they damn sure ain't climbing inside that, that square circle. So, man, focus on you and what you got to do to make you a better fighter. At the end of the day, this is your profession. This is your sport. You know, they watching you for entertainment. You know, so Derrick James go, you know, put all it into to Ryan Garcia head and get him better, bro. And go get him better. Teach us some new things. Work on this. Work on that. You know what I'm saying? Get 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 your body work down um, correct, correct to where you throwing them things in combination, not just one or twos. Combinations and not just one and twos. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a good look for, for Ryan Garcia going over to the Derrick James camp. Like I say, with some good, strong, quality Fighters that's gonna be right there with you, bro. You got Hall of Famers, you got world champions, you got undefeated, up and coming, strong cats like like Frank Moore that can be right there for you. And you can take something from everybody in the gym each time you're in the gym. You know what I mean? But it's up to you to want to learn. It's up to you to listen and, and add it to the repertoire. That's why I say Canelo won a, a bad gym for Ryan. Ryan just need to listen. Eddie Reynoso won a bad trainer for Ryan. Ryan just need to listen. And with them speaking Spanish, sometimes that probably can bother him because he don't speak Spanish and he don't understand it fluently. You know what I mean? And sometimes when things get heated and things get hot, you know, you don't want to have to wonder what he said or ask this person what he said and shit like that. But you just got to learn, man. You just got to learn. Like I said, in this boxing game, you get what you put in. You, you can't cheat it unless you're on some steroids or some shit. And then you, if, if, eventually you're going to get popped for that. So you can only cheat for that shit for so long, and then that's gonna ruin your reputation, and your head really gonna be fucked up. So you might as well put the hard work in, you know what I mean, while you're able to do so, and go out there and earn it the right way. Yeah, I say earn it the right way. Period, fam. So, you know, um, Ryan Garcia going over to Derrick James doesn't mean he's gonna be the guy to beat Tank or Devin or Shakur or the big dogs, but it damn sure will give him a better chance to. You know what I'm saying? Damn sure will give him a better chance to as long as he go out there, put the hard work in, and listen. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia is very gifted, very talented. I know a lot of people shit on him in his fight style, but he has some things that you can't teach. Ryan Garcia has real speed and real power. You can't teach that. You feel me? You can't teach that. Either you're born with it or you're not. You got a lot of people out there that wish they had speed. You got a lot of people out there that wish they had power. Then you got people that wish they had both. You know what I'm saying? So he's in a good position, man. A damn good position. Like I said, it's going to be up to him. Once again, man, it's a good look for Ryan. Derrick James is a hell of a trainer. Trainer of the year. Earl Spence, Jamel Trello, um, Anthony Joshua, Frank Mort. Welcome y'all new stable mate and Ryan Garcia. And let's get to work. Good luck to you, Ryan. Straight like that.